What's going on guys, Brandon here, Legacy Group Real Estate Team. We have your April 2020 real estate market update for Genesee County. So obviously real estate life falling off a cliff right now. So what does it mean for you? More importantly, uh, your biggest investment in your life for vast majority of you, what does it mean? Let's dive right into it here. Don't wanna waste any time. So let's dive right in and see exactly what's going on here. So uh, we always preface with three things and it's three years of data, that way we can see the trend. It's really gonna help here because of what's going on in the markets is really gonna help you to see what's going on. And then we have the month in arrears because now we have all the data, just like the government bring out the jobs report at the beginning of the next month, right? So I have all our data here. Uh, days on market, 56 two years ago, 58 last year, and then 50 this year. So we're gonna see numbers kind of, you know, for the last two, three, well, three or four years, we've seen very consistent numbers and really consistent, seller's market and really going into a seller's market. Now we're gonna to start to see numbers kind of jumping all over the place. So bear with me here. Uh, active homes in the market. This is a one day snapshot. So how many homes are on the market on that given day? 559 two years ago, 718 last year, and then back down a little bit to 662 this year. Uh, but we've seen that that was then trending up though, and now it's going down. So months of inventory, two months, two years ago, two months last year, and three months this year. And just to give you guys some context, remember, one to three months is a seller's market, four to six is a balanced market, and seven plus is a buyer's market. We're trending up now in every single county, and this has been staying steady, consistent. Now we're finally trending up. So um, this actually is a little bit above three, I believe. So we're trending up now, and it's gonna be very interesting to see going forward what's gonna happen. As remember, there's a lot of people, experts can't agree on what is going on. No one has seen this before, and I mean, no, you know, the last pandemic was, you really probably what the Spanish flu uh, 100 years ago. So I mean, th things are so different now that people have no idea. You talk to one expert, um, you know, like a Ken McElroy, and then in a lot of the rich dad advisors, they think the market's going to go through the floor. Then you talk to you know other people, and they think market's going to be super strong. And it's you know we have low inventory, which we do. You're going to see a low inventory, and so it's going to lead to higher prices, and things are going to be okay. So it's it's anyone's guess. I tend to believe that the market, you know, we are, we just haven't seen the catastrophe that's hit yet because we're so close to the, the epicenter of it. Um, I do think things will end up going down eventually, but um, let's go through the rest of this here. So new homes in the market, this is a month wide number. Um, and this is gonna boggle your mind. 615 two years ago, 733 last year, 173 this past month in April in Genesee County. So just absolute debacle absolute massacre in in the markets when it comes to homes being put on the market obviously things are shut down here and that's going to really uh really be interesting because going forward yeah it's going to be inventory shortages like we've never seen before however at the same time what happens in six months from now when people go back to their job that's not there anymore things like that so this is gonna be very interesting to see what happens here i'm, I'm very uh intrigued maybe is the right word to use as to what happens going forward here Price per square foot, $98 square foot two years ago, 95 last year, and then 95 stayed steady this year. And again, short, shortage of inventory went so close to the epicenter that things really haven't moved that much yet. And uh, months of inventory, that's at the rate homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home? With no new homes coming to the market, by the way. Um, and then this price per square foot, if you take your square footage and multiply it by this number, it's gonna get you approximately your value of your home. Obviously you need to have someone on our team or an appraiser come in and actually give you the value of your home. Because remember, this is a countywide number here. Uh, number of sold homes, 359. Two years ago, 412 last year, and then 233. So down a lot uh, this past month. Obviously things, uh, a lot of, you know, we had one, we had one of our transactions fall apart. Um, really like the day, the first day the markets collapsed, or I think went on the, uh, the automatic shutdown. In, in March, mid-March, end of March. So we only had one, fortunately, but again, that was happening to a lot of people. I, I saw a lot of people losing uh, deals and you know, a lot of homeowners and, and uh, home buyers, really a lot of home buyers pulling out of transactions and uh, things like that happening. So again, that's your market for Genesee. There's a lot of insanity going on right now, guys. This is something that you have to start paying attention. This is most of your biggest assets, or uh, sorry, most of your biggest investments um, not necessarily an asset because you're probably paying for it every single month and I, I don't think you're receiving income from it. However, it's, it's such a huge thing in our, in our life right now. The economy 
uh, real estate is a huge indicator of the economy, right? So being up to date with that, knowing where your equity stands in your house is massively important. So I appreciate you guys sticking with us through all this. Like I said, no, no matter where we are, we're still gonna give you these updates. So that way you have the information you need to be armed to make the right decisions for your family. If you're on the podcast, go to at Legacy Group MI on the Facebook channel or YouTube to go question, comment, share, tag someone. We appreciate you guys, your time and energy. It's the most important thing we have, especially in times like this. We look forward to see you on the next one.